friends, let us take another case of grouped data for continuous frequency distribution. In this case, we have four class intervals 3 to 7 with frequency 4, 8 to 12 with frequency 7, 13 to 17 with frequency 9 and 18 to 22 with frequency 5. In this case, we are going to calculate mean, variance and standard deviation. Now, we know that to calculate mean, first of all, we have to take the midpoints or mid values and that is known as x. The midpoint of the class with 3 to 7 is 5. That of 8 to 12 is 10. Similarly, 15 and 20. Now to calculate mean of the distribution we have to prepare a column of fx. f means frequency into x mid value. 4 multiplied by 5, 20, 7 multiplied by 10, 70, 9 multiplied by 15, 135 and 5 multiplied by 20, 100. Now get the summation of this column. Is it 325? Yes, 325. Yes. This is our sigma fx. Now let us first find the mean. Sigma fx divided by sigma f. So 325 divided by 25. So, the mean or x bar comes to 13. 13. Now, we have the mean and it is an integer value. So, against us, there are now two alternatives for calculation of variance and standard deviation. The one root is x minus x bar and another root is x square. Let us go for x minus x bar root because we have integer value of mean. So next is x minus x bar. That means we have to subtract 13 from all values of x or midpoints. 5 minus 13 that is minus 8. 10 minus 13 minus 3. 15 minus 13 positive 2 and 20 minus 13 7. positive 7. Now we need is x minus x bar the whole square. Minus 8 square 64 minus 3 square 9 2 square 4 and 7 square 49. 49. In case of ordinary data, we need the summation of this column, sigma x minus x bar whole square. But this is a case of frequency distribution. So we must consider the frequency as a weight of the variable. So now the last column is f into x minus x bar the whole square. Multiply all values of x minus x bar square with the frequency. 4 multiplied by 64, 256. 7 multiplied by 9, 63. 9 multiplied by 4, 36. And 5 multiplied by 49, 245. Now summation of this column only. Yes, it is 600. This is sigma f into x minus x bar the whole square. That means now we can calculate the variance. Number 2 variance that is sigma 
f into x minus x bar whole square divided by sigma f or n. That means 600 divided by 25. So the variance comes to 24. We can use sign V of x for variance. V of x. That means variance of variable x. And now we can calculate standard deviation. And the standard deviation is nothing. It is the square root of, rather positive square root of variance. Four point eight nine. Many authors of reference books suggest that we should divide sigma f into x minus x bar whole square by n minus 1 instead of n. n is sigma f, number of observations in the data. Many authors suggest that when we have a large sample, then we need not subtract 1 from n. According to the senior statisticians, sample of 25 is a small sample. If we take the suggestion of them into consideration, then we should calculate the variance in another way. There is a small uh, say variation, variance equals to sigma f into x minus x bar whole square divided by n or sigma f minus 1. That means now it will be 600 divided by 25 minus 1 that means 24 and 600 divided by 24 will be 25. So in that case the variance comes to 25. And similarly in that case the standard deviation will be the square root or positive square root of 25 instead of 24. So the standard deviation comes to 5. But in case of large sample there is no confusion. In case of large sample we can always take n instead of n minus 1. Thank you.